Shalom Akim. I want to start off by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekakwadash for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world in the calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son who the world in the calls Jesus Christ. And there's no God beside him. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit. Shalom to the elect whom the most I have given ears to hear. This is the book of Exodus 21 and 10. If he take him another wife, her fruit, her raiment, and her duty of marriage, shall he not diminish. And I brought this precept out to remind us, you know, as a reminder, to keep, you know, our responsibilities in, in check. Meaning, you know, to keep this word at the forefront of your priorities, you know, because a lot of times we may, you may receive a blessings from the Lord, you know, the Lord bless you with a woman, you know, Lord, you know, some brothers may have children or, um, Lord bless you with a nice job, you know. And you may put more time into that than into the Lord. All right? But we got to remember, if we be of the elect, this is our first love. You know? We be of the elect, this is our first love. This is what was with us from the womb, as the scripture said. Let me grab that. Sirach, or Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 14. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. So to fear the Lord, the Holy Spirit, all right, was mixed in our spirit, was, was mixed, and the creation, you know, was mixed with us, for lack of better terms, even before we were born. Isaiah 46 and 3. Um, was it Jeremiah 1? Isaiah 49. You know, it was created with the faithful in the womb. Okay. So this is our first woman. This is our first priority. This is our first responsibility. And everything else comes second. And, um. <laughs> so like you. You know. It's very easy to get sidetracked. However, you know, it's certain things that keep us in pocket. Like the scriptures say, uh, let's see. Hebrews 3 and uh, 13. But exhort one another daily. We exhort one another by these epistles. While it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Because Satan is out there as a, as a, as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And this is every second of every minute, you know, every second of every day. So this is why we got to put these epistles out as um we spiritually fighting these demons off. When you look at it, the scriptures speak about how we should not forsake an old friend. Let me see. Sirach 9 and 10. Forsake not an old friend. For the new is not compared to him. A new friend is as wine. When it is old, thou shalt drink it with pleasure. All right? And the old friend... Which a friend is another word for brother. You know, when you look it up, friend and brother means the same thing. Right? Who is our brother in arms? Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah blesses with the spirit of wisdom. All right? Which the, the this word, the spirit of wisdom or the spirit of Yahweh Shah is as a woman. 
is likened to a woman. You know, you could look at it as an old friend or an old brother. All right. Which when you go into the headings or Genesis, when it says in the beginning, God made the world. It speaks about Yahweh Shah and the angels that was with them because that word God is Allah Hayyim. All right. So that old friend, that old relationship um, is not comparable to a new. All right. You fought battles together in that relationship. You argued, you fought, you got over arguments, you know? Uh, just It was another scripture I was just thinking of. It just slipped me that quick. Lord willing, it comes back to me, you know? But not to forsake an old friend is a, a, a thing pleasing to the Lord. What's the scripture saying? Hebrews 11, through faith, the elders obtain a good report. All right, and that's how we're written in the book of life through that faith. All right, that's the good report, the good news. All right, the good uh, memorial. Let me let me grab that. This is the book of uh, what's that Malachi thing? Yeah, Malachi three and sixteen. They that feared the Lord spake one often, one to another. Again, in the epistles, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. And what's the scripture say? Draw nigh to me, and I will draw nigh unto you. You know, there's another one I was thinking about when Yahweh said, uh, you know, as far as an old friend and, you know, faithful are the wounds of an old friend. I was thinking about the scripture where Yahweh Shai told his disciples, he said, uh, I will always be with you. And I can't remember what I said. Dang. Let me see. Was that Matthew? Did I say Matthew 28 and 20? Yeah. Call hello, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. It says, teaching them to observe Matthew 28 and 20. All things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Okay? So that old friend, that's an old friend. The Most High is always with us. You know, from age to age, from, from you know, captivity to captivity, Yahweh Shah was always with us. You know? Actually, when you go into the names, the Hebrew names of the different uh, prophets, it proves that to be so. All right. Yeramya, or which is Jeremiah. Yahweh exalt. You know, Yeshaya, my salvation. Okay. 
that was pretty much it. Where else? Uh, you know, don't forget that old friend. Just some quick in the spirit with that. Shalom to the elect.